my name is James Bean. Today's Satsang edition of Spiritual Awakening Radio explores a new book featuring the mystic poetry of Sant Darshan Singh. September 14th each year is the Jayante, or commemoration, of the birth of Master Darshan Singh, who was born in India on September 14th, 1921. He was the founder and head of Sawan Kirpal Rouhani Mission from 1974 until the time of his passing in 1989. Master Darshan was a poet mystic. There are books of his teachings and some poetry books as well published in English. See the website santdarshansingh.org. And there are several volumes of Darshan Singh poetry books published in India that are only available to Hindi readers. So we are very grateful for the translation work of Barry Lerner and Harbans Singh Bedi, translating for us into English the book Mata Inur, Treasure House of Light. And with this new second edition of their poetry project, their poetry book Love's Last Madness, Poems on a Spiritual Path, they have even added more selections from other material previously unavailable to English readers of the Western world. It's a great blessing to be able to catch a glimpse into these collections of the mystic verses of Master Darshan at long last, after all these years. See in the notes section below links to my earlier four-part series of interviews with Barry Lerner and Harbans Singh Bedi G providing complete background about this book project and even poetry recitations in both Urdu and English. And listen at the end of this nine and a half minute Santmat Satsang podcast for my email address. I'll be happy to send you links to those earlier programs and the websites I'm referring to today. Love's Last Madness, a translation of 88 poems in the Sufi tradition Selected from Darshan Singh's magnum opus, Mata Inur, Treasure House of Light, sings of the torments and ecstasies the lover of God experiences on the journey to divine realization. That's a quote from the back book cover. It's also found on the website for this book, loveslastmadness.com. Loveslastmadness.com. Today we remember Master Darshan with some selections from the new edition, the second edition of the book Love's Last Madness. I've bookmarked a few pages here. When human beings are the aim of God, how tragic they ask, where lies our aim? God is hidden in the human heart, yet all search where is God? This is a click or clique of vain posers. Speak not a word about love. Everyone claims to be sincere. No one lacks devotion here. All light is your reflection. All beauty mirrors your splendor. Whose countenance has your radiance? Where is another like you? Achieving complete realization of self unveils visions of God. Blind to your being, how can you know the Lord? This valley, my heart, is desolate, alone. I'm engrossed in search. Where are the pilgrims of love? Where is their caravan? Tell those who trust in the captain to save our ship from the raging seas. Deliverance lies with the Lord, not in expertise. Let me stay bowed in worship here. Never leave this sacred place. Where else could broken Darshan find refuge but at your door? I'm turning the page. How to convey the wonder that reigns in the court of the friend. Dancing is 
the beloved's light, cup and carafe, are ecstatic. No corner of his court is void of his resplendent light. Every atom celebrates with radiance from the beloved's face. Wherever I go on earth, I see his beauty. In heaven after heaven, I gaze on my beloved. O seeker bereft of radiant visions, look with the eyes of your heart. How can you see the beloved's light with eyes of flesh and blood? I took on humanity's sorrows. I gave my love to the world. My entire life I've devoted to the work of my beloved. Brushing past me, it stirred my heart and suddenly was gone. Now even morning breeze has learned to tease from my beloved. Let them try to imprison him in temple, mosque, and church. The seeing eye finds the beloved's presence in every moat. Seekers of your radiant visions are very close to your heart. Eyes focused outside are infinitely far from the beloved's light. What can I say of the grace he showers as I gaze within? Darshan, the moment I close my eyes, the beloved's light begins. This one is from Talash Anur, Quest for Light. All I remember is a sudden glimpse of him. Then I was lost to him and myself. Now the whole panorama of eternity stretches before me, revealed when you lifted the veils that confine consciousness. For that one smile, I'm grateful, which swelled like a wave and flowed onward as a sea of a thousand lights. In the wilderness of exile, you will sustain me. Your love will fill my heart as I mount the gallows. If your body is dragged through thorns, let it go. The soul is a flower that autumn cannot ravage. And finally, this is from Jada Inur, if I'm pronouncing that somewhat correctly. It means pathway of light. More mystic verses of Sant Darshan Singh. All living creatures seek a life of peace. So pass your days on this earth humanely. Even the heart that beats in an animal's breast knows sympathy, brims with love. So look on all living creatures with loving compassion. Bring to humanity's night the light of dawn. Some pro-animal, pro-vegetarian, pro-vegan mystic verses from Sant Darshan Singh concluding today's poetry sampling of the book Love's Last Madness Poems on a Spiritual Path To get in touch with me to get those links to various websites and the previous interview with the earlier program with Barry Lerner and Harbon Singh Beatty about Love's Last Madness, send me an email at this address, james at spiritualawakeningradio.com. See you again in a few more days for the next edition of Spiritual Awakening Radio.